Okay, so I figured it's time to make a video and show you how I used one of the eight battery modules from my old battery pack. And um, it's been a while now that I've been working on this, but uh, it works really well to use that uh, battery module in this Tiro camper. So let's go inside and let me show you what I have, how I'm using it. Okay, welcome inside. So this is the front of my teardrop camper. And I made a backrest here with a small shelf on top of it. And that makes a rather large storage compartment here in the front. And in that compartment I can fit all of the electronics that's used for powering all of the setup. So it's a little bit of a cable mess over here, so just ignore that. But otherwise... Um, Everything here is working and um, it's really useful. Let me show you. I think we should start with the BMS because that's the um, most complicated part of something like this. I got this BMS from eBay, China, and it can handle up to a 20 cell uh, battery. So it's perfect for this um, 12 cell uh, battery because that's what the module is. It's a 12 smaller batteries in here that form one 50.4 volt battery so this uh, bms it has bluetooth so through the bluetooth app i can i can set all the parameters that's uh, needed for this and how many cells that there is so um, it's really useful i opted for the screen so i could easily see the voltage that the battery pack is having the current amp draw the highest, lowest, and average um, cell voltage, how many amp hours that I have left, is on here on the right, and then the current power consumption in watts. And here there are a few menus that I could just um, flick through if I wanted to see a few more um, stats about the battery. But this is basically it. This is all that's uh, really useful. Um, connecting the BMS, it, it was really easy, you just have to figure out all of these uh, balance leads to get them 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 12, correctly. And I just followed the instructions from the eBay listing and that actually worked really, really well. So I'm not going to explain too much about that. But here's at least a clip of me installing all of those BMS wires. Okay, so I got all of the cables soldered now and this is what it looks like. And this is a, there's two connectors here. There's a large one and a small one. And they both gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit tidier and then I'm gonna connect them in here and take it from there. A quick brief instruction here would be that we have the B minus, battery minus. It just connects to the battery minus. We have the C minus, charger minus, and this is also all of the um, items that draw power, they connect the negative over here. So we have the charger connecting to C minus, and then the charger, which is actually under here, is also connecting to the positive over here. It is um, the cable is routed from under here, up here, to the fuse. So if I turn off the main switch, the charger is still connected with the battery but it's connected through the fuse. And this is a resettable fuse. And here you see how I wired my positive all the way up to here. Ideally, you would make this uh, wire a little bit shorter, but I had a second battery here um, that was connected up here. But I removed that one because of the um, weight it was putting, putting on the tow hitch. So right now it's only one module in here. So that's a bit about the BMS. Uh, we have the charger here, like I said. The charger is charging with uh, AC power. That means that it needs shore power from the outside with this little cable. It has a regular RV style uh, uh, power inlet over here. And that one is uh, giving these three outlets over here. So the charger connects to here and gets power from the outside. So when that's connected, uh, the BMS and the charger is charging the battery. Really e easy. And so how am I using all of this power then? And let's start with a 12 volt circuit. So this is a 12 volt converter. It's from eBay China. 
I'll list it below, is rated at 300 watts of power, which is about 25 amps, and it's fused up here. And it is rather simple. It has 50 volts in. It has a negative that's running down to the C minus 50 volt. And then it has its own 12 volt positive and negative that goes to the, the mess in here. The mess in here, it just runs to the LED strip, the power outlets that's uh, out here in the corners. Uh, it's running to a few more of these power outlets in the kitchen galley and in the back of the teardrop, as well as the ceiling lights. So that's pretty much all that I'm using the 12 volt power for. The AC inverter is also connecting through here, uh, positive 50 volt in here, and then we have the negative going going to the C minus of the BMS though. And the inverter, it has one outlet divided up into a bunch of outlets here for the um, reading lights. We have these two. And then we have one for the top mounted AC outlet. And this is basically just for my laptop charger. And then we have stuff that's going to the back of the camper. And um, let me show you what I'm using that for. So over here we have a small regular household switch. I'm gonna make this into a uh, dimmable one. And this connects with the fan, the ear inlet fan that's down here. And it's a little bit noisy, so I'm gonna put a regulator on that, but it pulls uh, fresh air into the camper. You can also see my heater here, it's a 230 volt AC heater. It's using about um, 220 watts of power, so it's not that uh, power demanding, it's really good actually, and it has its own built-in thermostat. Um, also I have a gas sorry for that also i have a gas kitchen uh, that's using ac power for the ignition so that's also connected through here it doesn't really it's only using power when it needs to uh, ignite the flame but other than that it's not uh, consuming anything so it's a really easy setup that's basically all i'm using this power for and for my purpose it um, seems to last me maybe four or five days depending on how much I would use for example the heating or uh, the laptop charger so it depends on consumption but um, yeah it's really it's really useful to have one of these battery modules in a project like this or for just general energy storage um, it's a little bit tricky of course to use the 50 volts but here is a good example of how I have figured that out and right now it it's like there's no, nothing really to do to it just make sure that the power switch is on and plug in the shore power to charge it and yeah when the battery voltage gets um, too low the BMS will also cut off all of the accessories so it's not possible to drain the battery uh, too low the BMS will protect it from that so um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful uh, if you did like it give it a thumbs up and um, if you want to see more of this content you should follow my channel um, I do post stuff like this uh, on occasion and um, anyway uh, see you in the next one